Oh, hello again. Uh, as you may see, I have a uh, another charger for testing uh, nickel uh, hybrid batteries from my Toyota. Uh, I have a couple of cell leftovers, and uh, this charger is also modified for a better discharge. I also measured the internal resistance. I'm on element 2 here and the internal resistance is 7.1 I'm using this uh, this meter for checking the internal resistance and uh, after a cycle of charging I'm gonna show you what's the modified IMAX or in fact B6 Pro it's acting and doing so one of the charging cycles is done charge the battery to 2719 milliamps I think it's another three left because now I'm cycling the cells five times each of them and uh, in between cycles, I mean in between discharging and charging operation, I have a five minutes pausing. Uh, that is necessary to let the cell cool down. You may see a little bit when you're charging and discharging the cell, it's trying to get fat, I may say. So, uh, that's really necessary to to have it to cool down for at least five minutes let's wait for a discharging cycle and I'll show you how the modified B6 Pro it's acting like and uh, here you can see it is the internal resistance before any cycling most of them are around 7 milli ohms 7.1 let's say this one at the end uh, are pretty pretty bad three of them I don't even bother to charge them or check them anymore what's important here is if you are cycling the cells these cells have to be tied together because like I said before they are getting you know they are getting fat they are changing dimension in charging and discharging and it's really really important for the batteries to be really really tight together if you are doing that without being tied it's very possible to to have a little <laughs> a little explosion or something because they are really really changing uh, dimension and uh, it's important to have them tied as good as possible like they are in the original pack so almost there at the end of the five minute cooling period the five minutes uh, pause and uh, in, in a couple of seconds the mood will start and the battery goes to discharging 10 seconds more eight there we go so you may see when uh, when the discharging it's starting then two transistors and a relay in here the box are applying an extra an extra charge and I have a halogen uh, halogen uh, lamp there so I got one amp here let's check it out one amp from IMAX it should be here yes it's there and I have another let me see 3.3 amps through the bulb so that means a total of 4.3 amps from the battery to the charger okay let me see here 4.32 this is perfect 
so now all I have to do is to wait for the final results and then this here this value here in milliamps so now we have one amp here on the machine and the final value here will be multiplied by 3.3 because I have 3.3 amps with the bulb then the value from here with the multiplied one will be added together so I'll find a final result for each discharging it's very easy to do that it's a simple math operation but anyway I may say this uh, this kind of mood modifying it's very very useful and it's working great for any kind of nickel hybrid or nickel cadmium batteries I'm talking about the hybrid batteries and cells and it makes uh, it makes checking the cells very easy and uh, and fast at the same time so in a couple of let's say days you can check a whole battery of 28 elements now it's taking like uh, let me say maybe five hours for a full cycling maybe five to six hours for a five times cycling one of these cells I think it's pretty good uh, without the modified load this this uh, this process can take uh, maybe one day or something because if it is charged with one amp it takes a lot of time let's say if you have a good cell at least uh, six amps like it should be that means six hours for a discharging and that's <laughs> a lot of time and it's really really boring okay if you need the uh, any details about this modified please check uh, the other video I had before and uh, I really recommend it uh, for doing yourself and fixing yourself your hybrid uh, batteries thank you for now